Hello students, my name is Dirbe Jadav and I am here to teach you physics. In this, uh, in this lecture, we are going to study the chapter number 1 that is the physical quantities and measurement. The, in this particular topic, in this particular chapter, we are going to study the topic that is the measurement of area. So let's begin with the video. So that is first topic what we are going to study is the measurement of area. So we'll begin with the first definition that is the surface area. Area of a plane figure enclosed by its boundary. And the second definition is the area that is a region or space inside the boundary. Now many of you students are always confused in these two topic that is the surface area and area. So after this lecture, at the end of this lecture, this confusion is going to be end. Okay. So actually what is area? Area is nothing but say it is measured in a two dimensional way. Say in the figure as you see as you can see on the screen that is a side and a side. So area of a square will be side into side that will be a side square. But when we are talking about the surface area we are not dealing only in the two dimension we are dealing with the three dimension. So as you can see in the figure when the when we'll open the box there are total six faces are there. Okay. So one face as you can see one face has a area side square okay s square so how many faces are there here in this case total six faces are there so what will be the surface area for this six s square okay so that is the difference between the surface area and area so remember when you are talking about the area you are only dealing with the two dimensional objects right when you are dealing with the surface area you are dealing with three dimensional so that is the basic difference between the area and surface area and of course the SI unit of area is meter square it is it has a unit called meter square I hope you are clear with this topic now let's begin with the next topic that is the area of regular surface now what is regular surface regular surface means the surface or say the figures which are enclosed by smooth lines or say having a smooth boundaries for example say triangle okay so look at these sides they are very smooth and even okay look at this other figure whether it is a square or a rectangle it's uh, have a smooth lines and having a smooth boundaries and the third one that is a circle again the circle is having a smooth boundary so all these figures we can say that they are a regular surfaces whether it is a triangle, rectangle, square or circle. Now measuring them. For measuring them we have a formula say for the square side into side. So to calculate the area of a regular surface for square that is a side square. Okay. Similar for the rectangle. See in this case generally we have we know the to find the area of a rectangle always we have studied in the books also that is a length into breadth but don't get confused in this figure we have considered this as a base while this as a height so what will be the area of rectangle base into height if you say this is length and this is breadth then what will be the area of a rectangle length into breadth now look at this diagonal using this diagonal we are going to cut rectangle into two equal parts that is a one part is shaded with the yellow color and that is the triangle right three corners triangle so in short we can say that we have divided this rectangle into two parts or say we have cut this rectangle into half so can if we add half into b into h that will be the area of triangle so from this we got the area of a triangle that is half into base into height or say half into base into altitude if you study in the book it is given like that okay so again the regular surface we are having the formulas the last one that is a circle for the circle also we are having a formula that is a pi r square where the value of pi you can take 3.14 or 22 by 7 so for regular surfaces we are having a formula right 
Now the next topic is the area of irregular surface. What is the irregular surface? Irregular surface are those enclosed by uneven lines or having say uneven boundaries. While in the regular we have a smooth boundaries. Okay. While in irregular one we are having a uneven lines or say uneven boundaries. So say this example is there in front of you an arbitrary shape is there and say are we having any formula to calculate the irregular surface do we have any formula no if no then how we are gonna uh, find out the area of irregular surface now let us look at this topic measuring the area of an irregular surface now if someone gives you an irregular object and tells you find that find the area of this object how you are gonna find this now we will learn about this okay so take one leaf obviously leaf is an arbitrary shape it is an irregular shape okay so you have to take grids each grid of one centimeter square place a leaf on that and draw the outline of that leaf okay after drawing the outline take the leaf off now look at this figure this is already the leaf outline is there okay and one grid is one centimeter square so here we have given one two three four five but this portion is not counted why because it is not a shaded one while 11 we have counted because it is half shaded remember we are going to take only the region which is shaded half or say more than half see look at this one is taken why because it is shaded right and this part say this region is not taken why because it is slightly shaded but it is not more than half so we cannot consider this region again if you go to this place 11 we have took because the shaded region is more or is the is half shaded or say more than half portion is shaded 11 and after that 18 we took because again it is shaded when next to 18 this portion we have not taken reason is the shaded region is not half or say more than half region is shaded so we are not going to consider this region okay so like this the shaded region which are say shaded half or more than half we are gonna count them so total 51 count we got so what will be the answer of this say area of this irregular surface 51 centimeter square now like this you can calculate the area of any irregular surfaces okay so i hope you are clear with this topic now next topic is the multiples of square meter why we need to learn multiples of square meter say if someone tells you find out the area of a country will you be measuring a meter or centimeter square no because area of country it means you are dealing with the very big uh, say large distance okay so you are gonna measure the area of country in square kilometer or say kilometer square and one kilometer square is equals to 10 to the power 6 meter square how many zeros are there total 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 1 kilometer square will be equals to 10 to the power 6 meter square kilometer square means 1 kilometer has 1000 meter so 1000 into 1000 1000 has 3 zeros and 2 times 1000 so what happens 1000 into 1000 it will be equal to 10 to the power 6 meter square now if someone asks you to find out the area of a city or town then it will be measured in hectare so 1 hectare is equal to 10 to the power 4 meter square that is a 100 meter into 100 meter gives 10 to the power 4 meter square if someone asks you to find out the area of a land then it will be found in an array so 1 array is equal to 100 meter or say 10 to the power 2 meter square okay so that is why the use of uh, multiples is there okay we cannot use meter and centimeter everywhere when we are dealing with a bigger object or such like a land city or country for that we cannot go for a meter or centimeter we have to deal with the multiples of them means higher unit bigger units okay next is the sub multiples of a square meter 
Now sub multiples means when we are dealing with the smaller objects, not like uh, land or country or city. When we are dealing with the small objects, just like a uh, say pencil box, book, table. So in this case, we are gonna deal with the sub multiples of a square, just like a uh, decimeter, millimeter, centimeter. Okay. So here is there in the front of you one table where the values, symbols, and names are given. Say. decameter is a 10 to the power 1 hectometer is 10 to the power 2 kilometer is 10 to the power 3 remember power shows you the number of zeros okay decimeter centimeter millimeter all these multiples and sub multiples obviously you have also studied in a mathematics in a class 4 or class 5 so i hope you are clear with this topic and in the next topic we are going to start with the measurement of volume so i hope you like this video and you have understood all the queries are clear if you still have any query write it down in the comment box i will try to answer that thank you